November 5th, 2007. Um, today was my celebration of autumn. I woke up this morning, walked outside, and um, the trees in our neighborhood, oak trees, some of them were turning red, le the leaves were turning red, some were still green, some were still yellow, some were yellow, so looked across there and it was just beautiful and the sun was shining through it. Just made me think about autumn. And um, the other day, actually, I think it was the day before Halloween, we went out and got pumpkins for the kids to carve out faces for jack lanterns. And there's a little stand that's there all year round. In the spring, she sells flowers, and then she sells um, um, pumpkins and gourds in the fall and in the summer. Just different things, you know. Different flowers for different seasons. It's called rubies, or at least it used to be called rubies. But anyways, it's it's a little stand that's been there as far as, as long as I can remember. When we got these pumpkins, they had these acorn squash there, and they were 99 cents a piece. I thought, what the heck? So I bought three of them. I hadn't had squash in a long time, and I don't think I've ever had acorn squash. You know, I, before this, I think I had a different kind of squash because it was a little bit different tasting, or maybe it was just the type of acorn squash it was. Nevertheless, um, I had these three squash, and I cooked one of them. And, and co coincidentally, I'm the only one in the family that eats squash. Um, I cooked, cooked two of them, ended up cooking up two of them, and had one left over. And this morning, I picked it up, and I looked at it, and I thought, boy, this would be interesting to paint. So, um, I brought it to the studio this morning, and it's right here. I painted it, um, painted it this morning, and so I went to go pick up my daughter from school in the morning and take her to daycare. She's in a pre-K, so, uh, madly. And so I picked her up, and I took her to the daycare, and then driving over to the studio, this stand is, in, is on the way to the studio. I was thinking I should just stop in there and pick up a couple of small gourds or something, something interesting. And I should paint, you know, more than just this one acorn squash. It's, it's, I don't know what's been up with me lately. I've been painting things outside of my style. But um, in reference to the fall, and, to, and for some reason I always kind of start to catch up and start to notice the colors and start to really enjoy autumn just about the time it's starting to flee away, you know, it's, it's, it's just a strange thing, and all the seasons are kind of like that for me, except for maybe winter, but here winter is different than in Wyoming, where I'm originally from, you know, I was a, bit, I was a skier, or I am a skier, and I enjoy, you know, things like, but anyways, back to what I was talking about, autumn, and I painted these gourds, and um, let me show you what they look like, they're 12 by 12s, and I'm really considering putting them on eBay. So if you see a little um, thing for eBay right here. No, here. Anyways, if you see a little thing for eBay in my description, you can go bid on them if you want. Um, I normally sell them for 300 a piece. So maybe uh, you know, uh, a 12 by 12 for 300. But if you... Uh, if you like them, you just make me an offer, you know, and we'll see. But um, I'm not really up on eBay, putting things on eBay, so I'm not sure if I'll do that yet or not. And maybe or maybe not. So, anyways, here we go. Here's the acorn squash. Let me see if I can do a light. Ooh, that light totally screwed that up. Here's the acorn squash. Now, the idea behind the acorn squash was to take this object to... Uh, acorn squash is not very identifiable object. There's not a lot of texture to it, not. But I was trying to take the the shininess and how the light shined on it, and the slight indentions in it, and try to uh, create a uh, depth with that. The next one I painted was this little uh, gourd. I got three of these little gourds, but I only painted two of them. There's one of them. And um, this one is uh, unusual shape and had a lot of unusual shape to it, and so there's a lot of shadow to play with. And also, I wanted to play with the color, very little color, 
trying to create depth with very little color but a lot of shape and shadow. And then number three was the squash. The edges on it are still wet, so I mean the the paint on the front is still wet, but I paint the edges with acrylic black paint paint. And they're the gallery wrap um, 12 by 12s. But this was the uh, third squash that I painted. Or gourd. This was a gourd. The last two were gourds, and the first one was a squash. But anyways, I digress. It was a very interesting day. It was fulfilling in the fact that, um, as an artist, I uh, feel that you know you got to step outside of your your comfort zone and sometimes paint something that's different. I had I was trained like I like I said in many of the videos. I was trained in realism, so for me to uh, it's kind of a break from this stuff, um, this stuff here. So I would you know take a little break from that and paint something like this little squash. The only problem I have is, is that um, business-wise, or I don't know the word for it, uh, not economically, uh, the business sense in it is not very good. The, it doesn't make very much business sense to paint outside of your, your recognizable style, but um, uh, it's, it's something I needed to do, I feel, so I went ahead and painted those and um, who knows, maybe I'll build up a body of work of realism and then a body of work of, uh, of the other style. And uh, it, it's good practice. It's good practice. It gives me a good reference for painting the style that I use. It, doesn't, it keeps me from flattening out things too much, you know, that I can still get a little bit of depth in them. But... Um, Yes, yeah, stepping outside my comfort zone and a celebration of autumn. That's the key things. So, anyways, paint like a madman, and I'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.